peace and love family how are you on this beautiful Wednesday afternoon I just wanted to come on here real quick and talk to you about fear and insecurities something that we women and men alike face on a day-to-day -day basis and need help in balancing and overcoming uh, so one thing that I always share with my clients is balancing the chakras to help overcome that fear and insecurity. Chakras are just basically energy points um, in the body. Uh, there are seven known ones, but there's many, many others. Uh, the solar plexus chakra is actually the third chakra um, located just underneath the navel um, or behind the navel, underneath the rib cage. I like to call it like the pit of the stomach. Um, it's associated with the mantra, I can. So, you know, I can overcome, you know, I can go talk to that girl, I can go talk to that guy, I can take that risk, okay? Um, it's also associated with uh, the sun, you know, uh, its color is yellow, so it's associated with the sun and fire. So that's all about willpower, it's all about confidence, it's all about basically making it happen. So a lot of us have imbalanced or closed solar plexus chakras. How do you know your chakra is closed? If you're experiencing poor memory, um, things like poor digestion, stomach problems, uh, constipation, fears, uh, very insecure, uh, very low self-esteem and things of that nature, not really feeling that will to uh, want to move forward in life, knowing that you want to but not having that kind of, mm, that fire to make it happen. That's how you know that your solar plexus chakra is closed off. Because in essence, you know, chakras are energy points and at our core, we are energy beings, right? We do vibrate. So once we are imbalanced, then that's gonna transmute to, you know, physical and emotional problems. You know, just like I mentioned with like the poor memory, um, you know, stomach problems and things of that nature, uh, low self-esteem, low confidence and things like that. So how do we balance the chakras? How do we specifically balance that solar plexus chakra that's gonna give us that drive and that willpower that we need to really move forward in life? Uh, so one thing that we could begin to do is start to do mind puzzles, things that stimulate the brain. Um, taking a class, is there something that you've always wanted to learn outside of school or what you're learning at your workplace? Take a class and increase your confidence, increase your knowledge base. Um, one thing that I love to do is dance. Dancing and really getting your hips moving really helps open up that solar plexus, plexus chakra. If you don't know how to dance, go on Zumba. Go, you know, take a Zumba class or um, go on YouTube and, and pull up a, a dance class. Even like, you know, if you don't have the time, do it when you're in the shower. Play some music or sing some music in your head and just get your hips moving and start to say some I can mantras. Give yourself um, that time to help open up your chakras. Another thing is sun gazing. Sun gazing is so much more powerful than we give it credit for. Sun gazing is not only healing, but sun gazing can really help you tap into your supernatural abilities and gifts and open up your solar plexus chakra. So next time you're feeling a bit fearful, you know, down, lack of willpower, low self-esteem, wanting to move forward but can't, try some tips that I've mentioned to open up your solar plexus chakra. Peace and love family, I hope this helps.